Is $1,400 fourth stimulus check arriving? Low income, Social Security, SSDI, SSI, Virginia seniors. As the economic landscape continues to evolve, the topic of stimulus checks has remained a subject of intense debate and discussion. While the idea of broad based payments to the general public has gained significant traction, there is a compelling case to be made for a more targeted approach, one that focuses on providing relief to those who need it most. At the heart of this argument lies the recognition that not all Americans are facing the same financial challenges. While some individuals and households have weathered the economic storms relatively unscathed, others find themselves in dire straits, struggling to make ends meet and provide for their basic needs. It is this segment of the population that should be the primary focus of any stimulus efforts. One of the key advantages of targeted stimulus checks is their cost effectiveness. By directing these payments to low-income and fixed-income individuals, including seniors, people with disabilities, and recipients of Social Security, SSDI, SSI, Virginia, and RRB benefits, the overall price tag can be significantly reduced. Estimates suggest that sending $1,400 checks to 50 million Americans in need would cost approximately $70 billion, a relatively small amount compared to the trillions of dollars already committed to economic recovery efforts. Moreover, the targeted approach has the potential to deliver a more significant and immediate impact on the economy. Studies have shown that individuals and households with lower incomes are more likely to quickly spend their stimulus funds, pumping the money back into the local and national economies. This surge in consumer spending can have a multiplier effect, generating additional economic activity and supporting businesses and jobs. In contrast, those with higher incomes may be more inclined to save or invest their stimulus payments rather than immediately spending them. While this can have long-term benefits for personal financial security and wealth building, it does not provide the same immediate economic stimulation as the spending patterns of lower income individuals. Importantly, the targeted stimulus strategy also addresses concerns about the potential inflationary impact of broad-based payments. By focusing on a specific segment of the population, the overall inflationary pressure can be minimized as the influx of cash is more concentrated and less likely to contribute to widespread price increases. This approach aligns with the fundamental principles of economic policy to provide the most effective and efficient support to those who need it the most. By directing resources to the individuals and households facing the greatest financial hardships, the government can ensure that the stimulus funds have the greatest impact both in terms of immediate relief and long-term economic recovery. Furthermore, the targeted stimulus model is supported by a wealth of data and research. Studies have consistently demonstrated that low-income and fixed-income individuals are more likely to experience financial insecurity, with limited access to savings, investments, and other financial resources. These individuals are also more vulnerable to unexpected expenses, such as medical bills or sudden job loss which can quickly deplete their financial reserves and push them into deeper economic distress. By prioritizing these individuals and households in the distribution of stimulus checks, policymakers can directly address the root causes of financial instability, providing a crucial lifeline and enabling them to better weather the ongoing economic challenges. The case for targeted stimulus checks is a compelling one. By directing resources to those who need it most, the government can maximize the impact of its economic recovery efforts, delivering immediate relief and supporting long-term economic growth. As policymakers continue to navigate the complex landscape of economic recovery, this targeted approach should be at the forefront of the discussion, offering a fiscally responsible and socially conscious path forward. Beyond the immediate economic benefits, the targeted stimulus approach also aligns with broader principles of social equity and inclusion. By directing support to low-income and fixed-income individuals, the government can help to address the widening wealth gap and ensure that the economic recovery process is more equitable and accessible to all. This is particularly important in the context of the ongoing challenges faced by marginalized communities who have often been disproportionately impacted by economic downturns. These communities, which include racial and ethnic minorities, the elderly, individuals with disabilities, and those living in rural or underserved areas often face systemic barriers to financial stability and access to resources. 
By prioritizing these vulnerable populations in the distribution of stimulus checks, the government can take a significant step towards addressing these disparities and promoting more inclusive economic growth. This not only benefits the individuals and families directly receiving the support, but also has wider societal implications, as a more equitable economic landscape can foster greater social cohesion, community resilience, and long-term prosperity. Moreover, the targeted stimulus approach can have positive ripple effects beyond the immediate financial benefits. By providing a safety net for those in greatest need, the government can help to alleviate the psychological and emotional toll of financial hardship, reducing stress, anxiety, and other mental health challenges that often accompany economic instability. This, in turn, can have downstream effects on overall well-being, including improved physical health, stronger family and community relationships, and greater educational and professional outcomes. By investing in the financial security of low-income and fixed-income individuals, the government can unlock a range of positive societal benefits that extend far beyond the direct economic impact. It is important to note that the targeted stimulus approach does not negate the potential value of broader economic recovery efforts, such as infrastructure investments, job creation initiatives, or support for small businesses. Rather, it should be viewed as a complementary strategy that can enhance the overall effectiveness of the government's economic policies. By combining targeted stimulus checks with other well-designed recovery programs, policymakers can create a multifaceted approach that addresses the diverse needs of the American people. This holistic perspective can help to ensure that the economic recovery process is inclusive, sustainable, and responsive to the unique challenges faced by different communities and demographics. Furthermore, the targeted stimulus model can be adapted and refined over time as economic conditions and the needs of the population evolve. By regularly reviewing the data, assessing the impact of the stimulus payments, and making necessary adjustments, policymakers can ensure that the support is being directed to the individuals and households who need it the most. This dynamic and evidence-based approach to economic policymaking can help to build public trust, foster greater transparency and accountability, and ultimately enhance the overall effectiveness of the government's recovery efforts. In the face of ongoing economic uncertainty and the persistent challenges faced by many Americans, the case for targeted stimulus checks becomes even more compelling. By directing resources to those who are most vulnerable and in need, the government can not only provide immediate financial relief, but also lay the groundwork for a more equitable and resilient economic future. As policymakers continue to grapple with the complexities of economic recovery, it is crucial that they prioritize the needs of the most disadvantaged members of society. The targeted stimulus approach offers a powerful and pragmatic solution, one that can deliver tangible benefits to individuals, families, and communities, while also contributing to the broader economic well-being of the nation. Ultimately, the targeted stimulus approach represents a thoughtful and strategic investment in the financial security and well-being of the American people. By directing resources to those who are most in need, the government can not only provide immediate relief, but also lay the groundwork for a more equitable and resilient economic future. As the nation continues to navigate the complex landscape of economic recovery, it is clear that the targeted stimulus model offers a compelling and data-driven solution.